Hello, I'm Don Patterson, and it is my honor and pleasure to be your Kettering Mayor. On behalf of the entire Kettering City Council, I share with you tonight the state of the city. One of my most important responsibilities is to share with you the successes of the previous year and the projects, innovations, and service improvements we have in store for the Kettering community in the year to come. Behind every success is strong leadership. As Kettering's mayor, I see the relationships that strengthen this city every day. I see neighbors helping neighbors, keeping their landscape and homes beautiful. I see volunteers delivering mail to the city offices, taking seniors to doctor's appointments, and putting that extra care into services we offer. I see businesses flourishing and a strong network between stakeholders to ensure momentum remains strong. I see city employees with expertise in every area needed to help citizens, business owners, and even other municipalities. As those accomplishments begin to multiply, the relationships grow stronger and the network increases. And I believe these collaborations are the reason so many of us feel that Kettering is home. I am honored to work alongside my fellow city council members, Bill Lauder, who served as vice mayor the past two years, Jackie Fisher, and re-elected members Bruce Duke, Joe Wanamaker, Tony Klepaz, and Rob Scott. Thank you for sharing your expertise and unwavering community advocacy. As I prepared the highlights from 2019, I was once again overwhelmed with pride in all that the city accomplished throughout the year, and I am excited to share some of the fantastic developments on the horizon. To highlight one of the many examples that your tax dollars are in brilliant hands, let me take a moment to brag about our award-winning finance department. First, after an official review with Moody's credit rating services in July, the city's AA1 bond rating was reaffirmed. Second, Finance received the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting for the City's 2018 Annual Financial Report. Third, they received the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award for the City's 2019 Budget. And fourth, they received the Ohio Auditor of State Award for the City's 2018 Audit and Comprehensive Annual Financial Report. Now, let's take a tour around Kettering so you can see the continued progress upon which this great city was founded. Let's begin at the Government Center, 3600 Schroyer Road. This is where ideas become reality. Ideas from our residents and business owners, as well as projects city employees create to maintain and exceed the exceptional amenities and services we offer. This is a place relationships are fortified. The place where teams of residents, businesses, and city employees continue to enrich this great community. This is where you can visit if you have a question or if you want to come to public meetings such as City Council. 3600 Schroyer Road is truly the hub for action. During 2019, we continued our dedication to redevelopment and reinvestment in Kettering. We enjoyed watching many of these projects come to fruition leading to another year of vital expansions. Let me show you what I mean as we head over to the Miami Valley Research Park. The Research Park continues to be a large economic drive for Kettering. In late 2017, the city of Kettering completed the purchase of more than 300 acres of unimproved land from the Miami Valley Research Foundation. In 2018, the city entered into an agreement with the Kettering Development Corporation for assistance with marketing the newly available acreage. Because of the purchase, Miami Valley Research Park will see a surge of improvements in the coming years. Community Tissue Services broke ground in 2018 for a 132,000 square foot expansion at its Miami Valley Research Park facility. When completed in 2020, the project will create more than 200 jobs, primarily in the manufacturing and support fields at the company's Center for Tissue Innovation and Research. In 2019, we completed the expansion of College Drive near Community Tissue Services. 
This critical infrastructure project will link existing businesses and make way for additional future development. We worked in partnership with Beaver Creek to analyze traffic patterns to plan for significant improvements to County Line Road in 2021. The project will add a lane of traffic in each direction in order to ease daily vehicle flow and will also extend the multi-use path from the edge of the Miami Valley Research Park all the way to Dorothy Lane and Stroop Road. Ultimately, this will connect to the recently constructed multi-use path that leads to Indian Riffle Park, the Rob Deerdeck Skate Plaza, and the Kettering Recreation Complex. Tenneco made significant improvements and major equipment purchases at their facility on Woodman Drive. Tenneco has increased their employment from 475 people at the end of 2016 to 624 people through the middle of 2019. We anticipate their employment numbers will continue to rise through 2020. Kettering also welcomed the Dayton Vet Center on Woodman Drive during 2019. It is our privilege to host a place for our military veterans and their families to receive services they so richly deserve for their service to our country. Now let's take a look at the Kettering Business Park. Created in 1996 to offset the loss of more than 2,500 jobs at the former base. Today, the Kettering Business Park employs more than 3,000 people at Synchrony, Prime Med Physicians, N12 Technologies, Kettering Municipal Court, Alternate Solutions Health Network, and Kettering Health Network. In 2017, the city and representatives from the Kettering Business Park businesses worked together to design a new signature entrance for the thriving business park on Wilmington Pike. Those improvements to the landscape and entrance signage were completed in 2019. Alternate Solutions Health Network purchased a 200,000 square foot facility in the Kettering Business Park from the city. After three years, Alternate Solutions Health Network continues to thrive with expected growth in the employment of 340 jobs by 2021. In late 2018, Kettering Health Network began construction on their state-of-the-art command center in the Kettering Business Park. The opening in 2019 brought 25 jobs to the park and it allows the facility to handle all the scheduling and patient management for the entire health network. The facility could eventually house up to 300 employees. In 2019, the city sold 14 acres of land and a largely vacant and underutilized 200,000 square foot warehouse to a developer. Building number two was demolished to bring an Amazon last mile package distribution center to Kettering Business Park. The site now holds a 100,000 square foot distribution center and associated delivery vehicle parking areas. The Amazon facility began processing and delivering packages in July and is now fully staffed and operational. Nearly 400 part-time Amazon employees are working in the facility with six companies providing drivers for the operation. As you drive the picturesque streets of Kettering, when you see a lot of hustle and bustle going on, it's all to maintain the exceptional quality of life for residents. As I mentioned earlier, among the largest and most visible construction projects is the Community Tissue Center expansion. Other projects include the Fairmont Career Technology Center and classroom additions to the Oakview and Southdale Elementary Schools. Also, Kettering Health Network, with their flagship Kettering Medical Center on Southern Boulevard, remains not only our largest employer, but also one of the most loyal community partners. In 2019, they completed another two floors of patient care space in the Kettering Cancer Care Center, expanding a world-class oncology facility right here in our own backyard. We certainly place a great deal of focus on attracting new business and helping those already in Kettering grow and thrive here. In Kettering, the vast majority of our amenities and valued city services are funded by income tax. If we don't have the jobs, we don't have the resources to support the infrastructure, facility and services our residents and business communities treasure. In the end, 
Our goal is to protect the investment that you made when you decided to call Kettering home. That means that we invest in our commercial centers to support job growth, as well as our neighborhoods and world-class amenities. Making our way down Dorothy Lane to Prue Woods Drive, we come to Prue Woods Residential Development, an enclave of 37 new construction single-family homes in a park-like setting. Construction on the development began in 2017, and there is only a handful of lots remaining. During 2019, 12 new single-family homes were built, including five in Prue Woods and four at the villas of Kettering Point. The housing market in Kettering remains strong throughout the community. Properties in every style and price range continue to sell, often within days of listing. We are also excited about some of the reinvestment taking place in our neighborhoods as private real estate entrepreneurs purchase, renovate, and place updated homes back on the market. One by one, these like new properties spark momentum for more improvements to those nearby. And soon, house by house, street by street, the property values of the entire neighborhood begin to rise. City of Kettering residents are proud of their homes and constantly spruce things up and maintain their houses. 31 years ago, our volunteer office began the Neighborhood Pride Program. The program honors residents who made significant improvements to their homes or commercial properties or consistently maintain their properties year after year. Property owners can nominate themselves for the program's award or they can be nominated by friends and neighbors. Each year the program receives about 450 nominations with only 36 properties receiving the award. This past year the award winners included Orchard Park Elementary School, Christ Church United Methodist, and McAfee Heating and Air Conditioning. Congratulations to all of the 2019 winners. Thank you for all your efforts to make the property in our neighborhood something special. I extend my gratitude to the Neighborhood Pride Committee for their efforts to review nominations and select the winners. There's an initiative to reinvest in our neighborhoods that is very unique and special to me. When I ran for office, I saw the need to revitalize Kettering neighborhoods and our housing stock. Together, we combined our ongoing participation in National Make a Difference Day with Cities of Service to develop an ongoing neighborhood revitalization initiative. We focus on areas in which we think we can build upon some community spirit. In 2019, the neighborhoods selected included Sunnyview Acres, Ireland Estates, and Rubicon Heights. The group kicked off the initiative by hosting a community block program to allow neighbors in the area an opportunity to get to know each other. On November 1st, the efforts continued with a group of 80 volunteers planting trees, clearing 1.75 tons of brush and debris, and handing out emergency disaster preparedness starter kits, among other initiatives. During 2018, the Haverstick neighborhood was adopted as a focus of City of Service. Since the neighborhood does not have a public park, residents, Kettering City School instructors, City of Service committee members, and the City of Kettering's Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Arts Department joined together to create Be Ambitious, a series of sidewalk mosaics comprised of several popular sidewalk games permanently installed in the Haverstick neighborhood. This is another way Kettering fosters a strong network by bringing residents together through fun and education. Throughout the city, our community development team works one-on-one -on -one with residents who desire to make improvements to their homes or wish to buy a home in Kettering and need financial support to make the dream come true. A few examples of repairs and improvements include roof replacements, new windows and doors, and heating and electrical system replacements. Typically, the city serves 20 to 40 people a year, depending on the amount of individual applications received. The city also carries out larger projects, tearing down vacant houses that are in bad shape and collaborating with owners of rundown properties to improve the space. Overall, the city's goal is to make Kettering as accessible as possible and grow its housing investments. Let's make our way down Wilmington Pike, 
an area where the city has placed significant focus in recent years. As you know, Wilmington Pike is an essential corridor in Kettering, passing all of the way from our northern to our southern boundaries. Though we aren't there yet, significant progress continued during 2019. Three properties deemed unsuitable for reuse were demolished and the sites were cleared for redevelopment. Eudora Brewing entered into a lease for the deteriorating vacant Pep Boys building and completely transformed it into a destination brewery. Construction on the new Wilmington Stroop Library branch was completed and it reopened in 2019. On the west side of the corridor, an eight-foot wide multi-use path offers a connection to existing regional bikeways and improved pedestrian access to businesses. Our investment in Wilmington Pike Corridor is paying off. Popeye's Chicken and Burger King constructed new restaurants near the Stroop and Wilmington intersection. We are dedicated to the Wilmington Pike improvement process, and we are excited to watch as it transforms into a vibrant corridor. The city of Kettering is almost 70 years old, and some of our neighborhoods nearing 100. Like anything that has been around this long, we have places that are starting to deteriorate. City Council has made reinvestment in infrastructure a critical priority because we want to maintain a city that is well-kept, attractive, and vibrant. We want our city to grow older with grace and enhance its rich character by continuing to strengthen the foundation upon which it was built. With our partners at Montgomery County and Vectran, major reconstruction projects on bridges, roadways, intersections, water mains, and gas lines will be critical. Whether we lead projects to repair or install new curbs and sidewalks or maintain roadways, the city is committed to putting every neighborhood on a rotating schedule for improvements that prevent deterioration. If you ever have questions, concerns, or suggestions regarding city services, I encourage you to visit www.ketteringoh.org. You will see a place right on our homepage where you can get quick answers to frequent questions as well as report issues of concern that need the city's attention. This feature works on both our website and from our Facebook page, making the help you need from the city just a touch away 24-7. We appreciate your efforts to help us serve you better. Certainly exceptional city services make Kettering unique in the region. Among the most treasured city services is the protection offered by our Kettering Police and Fire Departments. We completed the fire station modernization project at the end of 2018 with the grand opening of our final new facility on Dorothy Lane. Each of our four new fire stations are staffed 24 hours a day with personnel trained and equipped to respond to your calls for service. In 2019, the Kettering Fire Department responded to nearly 9,000 calls for assistance. Our fire department received the American Heart Association Mission Lifeline EMS Gold Plus Award for medical services provided to patients who experienced the most deadly type of heart attack caused by a blockage of blood flow to the heart. Our paramedics are specially trained to rapidly identify if a patient has experienced a suspected heart attack, promptly notify the hospital emergency department, and trigger an early response from the awaiting hospital personnel. Kettering Fire Department members collaborated with the talented staff from the Miami Valley Communication Council to create a Fire Prevention Week video. This video was viewed more than 4,000 times through the use of social media and shown to all students in grades K through 5. The Kettering Fire Department prides itself on community interaction and held its second annual Fire Prevention Month coloring contest. The winning entry from Chloe at Prass Elementary was selected based upon the artistic presentation and fire prevention message. This entry will be used as the cover of the 2020 Kettering Fire Department coloring book. To better serve our citizens and first responders, a new computer-aided dispatch and records management system will be implemented in the police and fire departments in 2020. The system will track and categorize calls for service, reports, 
and will generate statistical information. We completed a technology advancement, which ensures the continuity of our emergency operations center and the backup dispatch operations. These are only a few projects that will dramatically improve our ability to reach you in the case of an emergency. Another project completed during 2019 that will be critical to our public safety operations as well as our efforts to attract new businesses is a creation of a fiber optic service ring in partnership with seven neighboring communities. Data service is now a highly demanded form of infrastructure for companies and a critical resource for public safety. We were proud to lead the way on this regional project and know that offering this modern infrastructure amenity will be highly valuable. Not only do the members of our Kettering Fire and Police Departments protect our community when disasters strike regionally or nationwide, they offer their rescue and emergency expertise to other impacted communities. In 2019, Kettering Police and Fire Departments provided critical support to neighboring communities during a rally, a mass shooting, and tornadoes. And several City of Kettering employees outside of public safety were able to help as well. After the Memorial Day tornadoes tore through our neighboring communities, employees from our Street Division, Vehicle Maintenance Center, and Parks Division were deployed to assist. During a three-week span from May 28th through June 14th, 2019, the Street Division provided 2,145 labor hours and 3,049 equipment hours to assist with this effort. It's all about relationships and helping one another achieve positive outcomes. As we leave fire headquarters, let me pause for a moment here at David Road. In 2019, this section of East David Road from Wilmington Pike to Ackerman Boulevard was resurfaced, and the drive approaches and curbs along the roadway were replaced. We were able to leverage our investment in this project to secure nearly 40% of the funding needed for this project from federal sources. Another great success story in 2019 was the completion of the resurfacing of East Ron Road from Wilmington Pike East to the Centerville boundary. As we make our way back across Kettering, I want to take a moment to talk about property maintenance. Here in Kettering, we have expected standards that apply to each and every property, regardless of location, size, or value. We have a dedicated team of inspectors who systematically review property concerns and work with residents to resolve issues. We ensure our property maintenance cases close with violations remedied by the property owner in a very short period of time. Here we are. Certainly this is a place you all recognize. Frey's Pavilion is a crown jewel of Kettering and one of the things our residents love about calling Kettering home. The Frey's Pavilion's successful 2019 season included multiple sold out shows, including the menus, Little Big Town, Weird Al, Diana Ross, Jake Owen, Bad Company, Frankie Valley and get the lead out. We had more than 75,000 visitors, hosted 10 free festivals, and ticket sales for paid concerts reached 3.9 million. Nothing compares to a night under the stars at the Frays with friends and family. Now we are going to head across Lincoln Park Boulevard to the Kettering Police Department. A long-awaited and significant project will be getting underway at the Kettering Government Center campus as we begin construction of a new police headquarters in 2020. The new headquarters will have an added second story above the existing police facilities and current space will be renovated to meet the needs of a modern police department. In recent years, the Kettering Police Department has placed great emphasis on the relationship our law enforcement professionals have with you, our residents. The design of the new police headquarters will reflect that with new welcoming public entry on the main government center plaza. Another significant and meaningful expansion took place in the Kettering Police Department in 2019. Our school resource officer program grew from two officers to five, placing a dedicated Kettering Police Department partner at Fairmont High School, one at both Van Buren and Kettering Middle Schools, and two additional officers who will serve the Kettering Elementary Schools. 
students who have a positive law enforcement role model are less likely to engage in risky or illegal behavior. In 2019, we rolled out our community crime mapping tool. Through a link on our website, you can search by address to get a report of all police activities during a specific period of time. I encourage you to use this tool for information. Our police department continues to partner with you in offering volunteer registration of home security cameras through a link on our website. If you have a camera on your property, please consider registering it with us. In the case of a suspected crime in your area, Kettering Police Department will then contact you and ask to review any footage your camera may have captured during the time of the suspected occurrence. This effort has already helped KPD resolve some issues and we appreciate your willingness to partner with us to enhance the safety of our neighborhoods. Let's head over to the northwest side of Kettering. As I mentioned earlier, as our community ages, maintaining and replacing our infrastructure is vital. Throughout Kettering, several bridges are reaching the end of their useful life and in most cases require complete replacement. As many of you know, an exciting partnership began in 2019 as the Shantz Avenue Bridge over South Dixie Highway underwent a complete replacement. Rather than reconstructing another unremarkable concrete bridge structure with utilitarian chain link fence, we collaborated with our City Sites Public Art Program to seek an artist who designed a one-of-a-kind public art installation. The art will integrate seamlessly in the new bridge and will create a signature entry feature for Kettering. Reflecting the artistry of the trolley cars which once traveled the Dixie Corridor, and the designs on the historic cash register showcased at nearby Carolyn Park. Replacement of the Shantz Avenue Bridge is complete, and the art piece will be installed in the spring of 2020. The Ridgeway Road Bridge is also to be replaced. In late 2017, our City Council directed City Administration to pursue grant funding for the purpose of reconstructing the Ridgeway Road Bridge. We learned in July 2018 that the Ridgeway Road Bridge replacement was awarded project funding from the Ohio Department of Transportation's Municipal Bridge Program. Construction is currently scheduled to begin in late 2020 or early 2021. This project will also include an art installation to reflect the surrounding landscape of Hills and Dales Metro Park. Now, let's travel through the Hilton neighborhood near the corner of Dorothy Lane and South Dixie. At the beginning of 2019, the city collaborated with Montgomery County Water and Vectron Gas to replace water mains, gas lines, and ultimately the roadway in this neighborhood. Time and time again, I find myself overwhelmed with pride when I hear of the generosity of our Kettering community. I would like to end this presentation this year with a couple of shining examples. In 2018, the city added a full-time compliance and inclusion manager to our team to help us ensure that our facilities, projects, and programs meet ADA standards and city staff are trained to lean towards yes in support of requests from the public. The city fully supports the access and inclusion process for individuals with disabilities participating in programs, events, enrichment opportunities, and camps throughout the city. All infrastructure and facility projects now incorporate the consideration of ADA early in the planning process. It's one example of how we, our community partners, are making a difference in ways large and small. As some of you may know, the City of Kettering Volunteer Program celebrated its 40th year of service. We are proud to honor our volunteers for contributing more than 31,831 hours of service this year and saving the city $787,499. Since 1979, because of our volunteers, the City of Kettering has saved over $23 million in staff time. You are truly the essence of Kettering's community spirit, and we are grateful.
I extend my heartfelt appreciation to all of the Kettering residents who take their commitment to serving our community to the next level by serving on our numerous boards and commissions. Their leadership is critical and their input vital. To every resident, thank you. In Kettering, we highly value engaged residents, opportunities to have meaningful dialogue, and active participation in the leadership of our community. I and my fellow members of City Council truly enjoy hearing from those we represent. We encourage you to join us for a Kettering City Council meeting on the second and fourth Tuesday of every month at 7.30 p.m. And stay connected to our city communications to ensure you are always in the know about the latest city projects, service announcements, and alerts. In 2020, I hope you will consider the ways you or someone you know might get involved in a leadership role in the Kettering community. Everyone has a talent, and together we are unstoppable. Our Kettering Leadership Academy and our various city boards and commissions are frequently looking for new members. These are great opportunities to learn more about the city and to create a path to additional leadership opportunities. Looking back, I am so grateful that I took the exact step I'm asking you to take. Serving Kettering initially as a city council member and now as your mayor is one of the greatest honors and most rewarding experiences of my life. I am grateful for the relationships we enjoy as friends, neighbors, co-workers, and stewards of service. Be assured that all of us on Kettering City Council and your city administrators are dedicated to serving you and to ensure you remain proud to say Kettering is home. May you and your families be healthy and prosperous in the new year and on behalf of City Council and staff. Thank you for allowing us to serve you. God bless.